GameKing is a brand of handheld game consoles, designed and developed by Timetop in 2003, for the Hong Kong consumer market. The brand has three consoles, the GameKing i, the GameKing 2 and the GameKing 3. A fourth console, the Handy Game, was produced by Timetop and shares some branding, but otherwise has little to do with the GameKing franchise. GameKing i GM218. The original GameKing console is a 8-bit handheld game console. It is based around a 6.5 CO2 CPU running at 6.0 MHz. It is fashioned to look like Nintendo's Game Boy Advance and comes in a wide array of vivid pastel colors, either opaque or transparent, and uses two AAA size batteries. The original GameKing lacks a backlit screen, a feature which has been added in its successor, the GameKing 2. The consoles have above average sound circuitry capable of multi channel music and digital sound playback, but a comparably low quality grayscale LCD screen, only supporting four shades of gray and having a very low 48 by 32 pixels resolution, combined with a slow refresh rate, poor readability, and adjustments. Compared to the original Game Boy, games can be compared to some of the earlier built in cell phone games, pre -Java games while their playing speed scrolling, etc., and audio is far superior. Multi -channel music Music and digitized samples and voices are quite common in GameKing games. Topic: <inaudible> Audio hardware. It is unclear whether the machine uses a traditional FM synthesis sound chip or relies only on digital samples for music and sound effects. Many of its games have soundtracks consisting of short audio samples with a sampling rate of 8 kHz, as opposed to games on other systems such as the Game Boy where sound is generated by a custom chip via FM synthesis. Video hardware According to Brian Provinciano's reverse engineering of the GameKing, most GameKing games heavily rely on bitmap rather than tile-based rendering of the screen, e.g. most levels in its platform and shoot-em-up games are in reality large four-color bitmaps, instead of using the most common method of graphic tiles and tile maps, like in most other game consoles and arcade games. This was probably done for economic reasons the CPU alone can handle all graphics easily, at that resolution and easy development of the games, apart from the objectively low resolution of the screen. While such a scheme seems to work, it has the disadvantage of using cartridge space inefficiently, so that e.g. most platform games are limited to three levels. At this point, it is unknown if the GameKing uses some form of sprite rendering, although this is probably unlikely and unnecessary. Topic: GameKing 2 GM219. The GameKing 2, on the other hand, is fashioned to look like Sony's PlayStation Portable. Comes in more sober colors, either black, gray, white, or aqua. And although not shown on the packaging, yellow ones do also exist. And uses three AAA size batteries, of which only two are used to actually power up the GameKing's hardware. While the third one serves to power up both its built-in audio amplifier, a bit more powerful than the one on the original GameKing, and its backlit LCD screen, which can be turned on and off at will, depending on external lighting conditions, thus saving power. The unit can still work with two batteries, only with no sound and no backlighting available. Also, the GameKing 2 has a fixed color background picture for its LCD screen, only visible when the backlighting is switched on. This is probably to give the false impression of having a color LCD screen, as implied on its box. The picture may vary between various GameKing models, however it has a mostly negative effect on screen readability when the backlighting is turned on. This background picture can also be removed or replaced simply by opening the machine and removing the small plastic transparency behind the LCD. Removing it makes using the backlighting much more effective. This model would also be the last in the GameKing line to have the text, 3 inches 1, stamped above the screen. Notes, likewise with the GK, no page exists for the GKII, but the Chinese site still lists the machine as product code GM219. Topic GK I versus GK2. 
However, the two models are fully hardware compatible, can use the same games, cartridges, both have volume and contrast controls and use the same LCD screen. Also, they both have an external DC power supply 3.5 mm minijack plug, however, the plug is not labeled as such, and its function is only slightly hinted at in the unit's manuals. The GameKing requires 3 volts DC, while the GameKing 2 requires 4.5 volts DC with the peculiarity of needing to keep at least one battery in the unit in order to have sound and backlighting. <laughs> GameKing 3 GM220. Timetop quietly released a third GameKing machine, called the GameKing 3 or GM220 sometime in 2005. While early advertisements showed the GameKing 3 with the same false color background picture as the GameKing i and 2, which would indicate that the system is actually black and white like the previous GameKing models, the GM220 is in fact full color. Another distinction of the GM220 is that unlike its predecessors, the GameKing i and 2, which were promoted and marketed worldwide, the GameKing 3 was not actively distributed outside of Asia, making it much less common than the earlier models. In 2005, many websites initially reported the device as coming soon, and it is not known why Timetop eventually decided to offer only a limited release. Although accurate technical information is hard to obtain, it seems to be a handheld console using a 64 color or gray shades LCD or TFT screen, although little else is known about it. It was available in black, silver, dark violet, and blue. The resolution doesn't seem enhanced compared to an original GameKing, and classic. GameKing cartridges are automatically colorized, while games especially developed for it allegedly make use of the full color palette, which for the moment remains unknown. The site claimed a total of 12 carts for this system. If the built-in game is included, eight titles are known as of 2010. A new design for the GKIII was placed in April 2006 at the Timetop site, and later removed see GM221, below. Topic GM two hundred twenty one. A second design for the GameKing three also exists, which combines elements from the GM two hundred nineteen with the GM two hundred twenty. The button design and layout is from the GM two hundred twenty design, with the A button being distinctly larger than the B button, but the overall form is obviously inspired from Sony's PSP design. Several colors are shown on the back of the box, green and orange for example, however only two colors, a black edition and a white edition are confirmed to exist. <laughs> GM222 The GM222 sports an original design, which does not borrow much from previous models. Even though it is sequenced later than the other consoles in the GameKing line, and therefore one would expect more advanced hardware, it is in fact a redesigned GameKing 2. Moreover, besides returning to the low-res black and white screen, the backlight has also been removed notice however that the box for the GM221 and GM222 both show exactly the same false color screen shot, despite the two machines' vastly different capabilities. It is not known why Timetop choice to release the GM222 in this fashion, although renderings exist that show this design was intended at some point to be a full-color model. It was available in charcoal, blue, and green. <laughs> Handy Game GM228. A distinct Timetop console exists which uses NES-compatible hardware rather than the proprietary hardware of the other GameKing consoles, and also has an integrated TV output. While early mockups indicated this handheld was considered part of the GameKing line, Timetop eventually removed the GameKing branding from this edition prior to its release, replacing it with Timetop LTPS Handy Game. Ironically, Handy Game was the working title EPYX coined in 1987 for what would become the Atari Lynx. The console comes with 25 built-in games and is also able to accept cartridges, however their size and connectors are different from and incompatible with previous GameKing consoles. 
The game selection includes games typically found on NES clones, like 1942, Puyan or Dig Dug, as well as graphic ROM hacks of famous NES games for example, using Blue's Journey graphics with Adventure Island. The GM228 was available in a large variety of colors with some faceplaces containing very elaborate designs. Colors included silver, black, green, yellow, and pink. Games GameKing – GameKing Second Games The console has a small selection of known games 38, being 3 built in and 35 in carts, although 37 games were said to be available by Timetop. Most games are clones of famous NES, C64 or Atari 2600 titles, with heavily dropped graphics. The games come in cartridges resembling the original Game Boy 1s, with a typical size of 128 kilobytes, although four-in-one cartridges are available, containing four normal GameKing games plus a selection menu, and have a maximum size of 512 kilobytes. Both the GameKing and GameKing 2 come with three built-in games. Drifter, a Wonder Boy, Adventure Island clone which seems to use music from Castlevania 3 2003, a 1942 clone. Miner or Mine Battle, a Bomberman clone which seems to use music taken from the now-defunct Flash game, Spybot, the Nightfall Incident here follows an incomplete list of known games. Please note that many GameKing games use the same program altering only graphics to create new Games e.g. 2003 and 2004 are essentially the same game with minor differences. Also, many games have major inconsistencies between the box, manual and in-game title. E.g., Lanaret becomes Hawk in the game title, Feichuan becomes Shun Zhou Liahao in the game, or Carlo Adventure Legend becomes Karo in-game. Carlo Adventure Legend, a Super Mario Bros. clone. Soldier, a Contra, Grizzor clone. Happy Killer and Happy Ball, both Load Runner clones. F1 2004, a Formula One racing game resembling pole position. Super Motor, essentially like F1 2004 with motorcycles instead of cars. Notes, the two previous titles are the only motor or sports games available on the GameKing. 2004, essentially the same game as the built-in 2003. Popper, essentially the same game as the built-in Miner. Hawk or Lanaret, a choplifter clone. Dino Adventure, essentially Carlo Adventure Legend with different graphics. Duckman, a Darkwing Duck clone. Ares, Feichuan are all classic arcade shooters, probably using the same engine as 2003 and 2004 with different graphics. Penguin, an Antarctic Adventure, Tux Racer clone. Street Hero, a Double Dragon clone. Trojan Legend, a Mega Man clone. Cedar Cell, a Tiger Heli clone. Star Wars, a Macross-based clone, allowing the player to choose all three shapeshifting fighter Gerwak Batroid configurations. Nawal, a Kung Fu Master clone. Blaster, a Blaster Master clone, a platform game with a shooting vehicle. Chaser, a Marine Defense game, clone unknown. Star Ghazi or Star Chazi, a Star Force clone. Hero, a Batman or Hero clone. Dracula Zone or Surf Dolan, a Silver Surfer clone? Pocket Tank, a Rambo, front-line clone with a tank. Warrior, a front-line clone without the tank. Clever Hawk, a Star Force-like game, but not the same game as Star Ghazi. Valiant, a robot space fighting game, clone unknown. The sprites are pretty large. Metal Deform, a platform game with shooting elements and a jetpack, clone unknown. Three Battles, an Akari Warriors-like game. Lightsword, a shooter that puts you on foot and then into a flying robot shooter form clone unknown. Risker, a game similar to Spy Hunter in mechanics. Catman, another platform game with weapons, but with large sprites. Armada, an arcade shooter clone unknown. Brains, a puzzle action game, clone unknown. Games are generally sold in separate cartridges, but there are four in one cartridges holding four distinct games. Later games seem to be only available in this manner. 
Also, each 4-in-1 pack comes numbered and higher numbers seem to provide games that are more refined in presentation. Some of these games found in 4-in-1 cartridges are Cyclone Action Might Carmen Spectask Captain which seems to use music from Mega Man X Seaguard Whirlybird Happy Garden Air Hero Magician Explorer Farer Seabedwar Sortie Phantom Fighter Topic. GameKing 3rd Games GameKing 3 machines have a built-in game Galaxy Crisis At the moment the only known game carts for the GameKing 3 come from a picture Adventure Urgent Action Diamond Panzer Fly Car Blaze Plane 2030 Hermic Battle Vagrant Topic: Handy Game GM 228 Games. The NES clone version of the GameKing 3 has its own selection of games, most of them being pirated or unlicensed NES games or variations. These come multi-carts with combinations such as 26 inches 1, 49 inches 1, and 72 inches 1, etc. No Handy Game carts are compatible with any previous model. <laughs> 